like we're making a cake. Kind of. Cake that can move the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Cool. So now you've got uh, the back housing, the chamber. I'm going to get rid of this. This O ring will go in the dowel O ring spot. And I think just for kicks, Mazda on the RX-8 started doing this and I'm not a real fan of it. But we will put a small bead across there. And they say it's to stop seepage, but Jury's I've, out. I've never had really any problems with seepage on, on the case. So, rear rotor. So now we take, and you notice how I assemble these things, so that the gear side that I glued, mm -hmm. I, I fit this one first, put a piece of cardboard under it, brought this side, flipped it onto the, uh, flipped it onto this side, Mm -hmm. Assemble the side that's going down last so that when I go to glue it together, it's facing up, just smear grease on it, okay, and away it goes. So now I grab my cardboard and I grab my piece and any excess that I want to hold those side seals in as well. Before I do this. This, what, this is what, oil. yeah, this is what assembly lube, this is what all my neighbors hate. Why is that? Because as soon as it fires off, it creates a this cloud. This makes the smoke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. We know that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so then, voila. And just like so. Now this was the was this the original piece? The those two rotors are Bremer rotors. Yeah. Bremer rotors, yep. <laughs> so Been those around. were those were matched that. Okay, so now at this point I can drop the eccentric in. What is that? Eccentric. Okay. And all it does is offset the two rotors by 180 degrees. And This is where you get to actually do something. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do it first.